Hello everyone! Thank you for joining me here. My name is Communists Are Us. And let's continue playing as the Union of Britain as we continue to take out the bourgeois Irish country state. So, right now we are currently in the middle of Ireland. We have no fuel, but we are prepared to do more attacks. Also, if you didn't see earlier, I forgot to mention this. But, against the Irish, we are both fighting, or I guess fighting against the Irish, of course. But also the Italians, the French, the Soviets, as well as the Germans. So, <clears throat> so that basically means all four of these nations will be future enemies. God dang you, France, as well as Soviets. <sighs> oh well, you know, what else can you do? What is the faction map mode? So we're still in the same factions as before. We'll pro we did lose South Africa last time. Which was quite, quite unfortunate, and they are abandoning Westminster. Please go with Empower the Workers, but I think they're going to do support the Afrikaner Broderbond. I'm pretty sure they'll go fascist, just because they look pretty fascist at the moment. And they are getting plus point zero one fascism support every day. So they'll probably do that. Australia obviously said, screw you, Britain, already. I want the Kiwis to stay with us, though. Oh my god, that looks exactly, that looks so similar to the guy who said, it's free real estate. Oh my god, I forget, it was like Tim or Eric, the Tim or Eric show, I don't remember, I didn't really watch it too much, but I know a little bit about it. Uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, 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 so we, how much, we get one political power a day now. We can make British Malaya even more communist at the moment. 33% are the way towards communism. Uh, is that worth it? We do that, they'll get better research speeds, but more communist support. I do kind of want more political power at the moment, and if we have to take them over someday, we, we'll, we'll try to. Uh, and of course, we don't have South Africa in here anymore. Whatever. Uh, after this war with the Irish, I'm really not sure who to go for after this. Oh, British Malaya. Get less oil from them. So be it. Alright, and let's actually, let's take a look at how this war is actually going. So they're still attacking us like crazy. The Germans are attacking us. Everyone else is attacking us. Take half of you guys. I want you to go this way as well. That'll be good. Yeah, the Irish, I think, are running out of manpower. And, you know, Ireland doesn't have a bunch of factories. It has six military factories, no dockyards, and eight civilian factories. That's not a lot of factories that I'm going to use. But it will be a fairly good number to add to our collection to build up our military even further more further and further go ahead and take these guys out yes i'm attacking over a river <clears throat> but something tells me i'm not really going to have a big problem about that very cool send half of all of y'all this way and send one of you that are currently moving this way i could be i could just tell my army just crush them but i don't want to waste manpower i really don't want to waste manpower um just because, the, for, as the UK, manpower is just so important that you just can't afford to lose really any of it. Alright, not bad, not bad so far. Go ahead and push these guys and just doesn't even matter. I, I want to see if I can encircle these guys. That'd be awesome if you could. Go ahead and come this way, go ahead and come this way. Oh yeah, it's one of the military factories. Very nice, very, very good. What do we need? Artillery pieces, of course. Of course. And then if we can, we will need more heavy fighters and tactical bombers. Because the rest of this stuff should be okay. Very cool. You come down here, you come over here. You come this way, and then you come here. Yes. Um. Well, I guess we're going to Cork. You guys are going to come down here, and you're going to brace yourselves for impact. As we're going to surround the this entire... Okay, bye Australia. Okay then. Uh, sure Australia, you want to join? Yeah, thanks Australia, welcome back. <laughs> they left and they came back immediately. I love it. They declare independence, but they're still within our faction. Oh. God dang it. Not, not you, New Zealand. You were the one, you were the chosen one. God dang it, I guess I'm going to lose all my guys here. Um... And I was sending my divisions all the way over here. Ah, uh, martial law in Canada. I don't have enough manpower for that. There's really not much I can do. I don't think that this group has 66 enough manpower to do 
all of this. How close is India to rebelling? 251 more political power. Screw it, we'll try India. We'll try it. I really doubt we'll be able to do this. But you never know. Oh my god, there's so much territory here in India. And this is even our modern day India. This is just regular India. Go ahead and try that. Oh, actually. Uh, you don't need all of this. Let's go for that. Yeah, there you go. Now you can do it. Nice. Here we go. We are literally taking the, God dang it, the entire country over. And they all pretty much broke free. Kind of expected, not gonna lie. I'm not really too alarmed by it. I want to get Dublin and see if I can just capture everyone here. Yeah, that'd be good. And up on the... God dang it! <laughs> everyone, why are you leaving me? Baby, come back! Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, well, all we have left is Canada. And they're definitely going to proclaim independence for long. Bunch of bastards. Let's, we could try it with them, but I know this isn't going to work. And I'll probably, I should just send these soldiers back home. I mean, I'm just sending garrison soldiers, so it's not really that big of a deal, but... Still, but still. Any day now, they're going to rebel, and India's in our faction. Great. Oh, and... Okay, so we completely didn't even have to kill all their soldiers. All we did was just have to take Quark, Dublin, and Belfast to capitulate them. Uh, so here's our plan. Because of the bourgeois state of Ireland... We have to we have to have time before uh, we can really trust the Irish to be fully true communists like us. That being said, actually, you guys can probably go home first. Hold on. Uh, uh, don't do anything. Return home. Repair. Do what that. And just don't eat up too much more fuel. Uh, with that in mind, we will make sure. Oh, God dang it. Ah, oh, god dang it. We'll make sure that the Irish will truly be, um, you know, really good communists. So we all need some time for them to embrace communism through re-education. There you go. Very cool. So with that in mind, we have a little bit of political power. We are in the Allies pretty much by ourselves. No, not yet. Hmm, if I could start another war before everyone else breaks free, that I could help <clears throat> liberate and put under uh, correct ideology, that would be awesome. So, if there's a place I should invade that's relatively close, who has a lot of resources that we could all benefit from... Uh, oh wait, why'd I do that? I need this. Sweden looks pretty good. Denmark doesn't look too bad. The Netherlands. Oh, I forgot about the Netherlands. Oh, we can't do the... Um, trade thing with the Netherlands and the Dutch, or Netherlands and us and the Germans. That being said, uh, who needs communism? Who needs workers' support? Oh, you got quite a few civilian factories, that's not bad. The Netherlands themselves. Hmm. If we could take out the Netherlands fast enough, we could secure support from them. And that would give us a nice little foothold into Europe, just in case the Germans, who are fascist, decide to get a little crazy. Um, show shock, spectator of the Great War, aloof neutrality. Um, maybe this could be good. And since we got rid of our monarchy, maybe we can get rid of theirs. Actually, who who's best? Actually, see, 190. Is that going to be the standard? Hmm. I'm thinking the Netherlands would be best, just because we get there, we get to Europe fast enough, and the faster we take them over, the faster we'll liberate them. And if we can take them over, we can also get their puppet, which truly, honestly, needs to be liberated from its oppressors, <clears throat> and be our puppet for a little bit, just so that we can put in a good communist government. And no, I will release, <clears throat> excuse me, the Irish eventually. So let's go ahead and uh, see what'll happen. Oh, happy 1939, everyone. Happy 1939. All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully the French do not guarantee them. French commune pursues nuclear technology, and we have self-government for Asia. Awesome. British Malaya, uh, Muhammad Maidin retires. India becomes owner of a couple things, as well as Australia. All right, very cool, very cool. 
Uh, we're close to decolonialization. We get more stability, political power, manpower. Wait, we'll use pretty much all of Africa, which I really can't afford yet, just because we get so many resources like oil and rubber from Africa. But let's see. The fate of the royal family. For the good of the revolution. Ooh. Oh, we get, we remove the national spirit, the war to end all wars. Let's get rid of... Uh, eliminate the upper class. The workers must rise up and break the oppression of the upper classes. We will deal with them and seize their co companies for the state. I like that idea. I think that's a great idea. Do you? And if you disagree with me, you're obviously part of the bourgeoisie. Okay, now they all left. Oh, God. What's the point of being in the Allies if they don't want to be in the Allies? God, that's a terrifying axis. Like, they even forgot Italy. They went with Croatia instead. So, basically, everyone that's in the Allies is now either British Malayan, Egypt, and, you know, the Middle East for right now. Middle East, pretty much, in general. A little bit of Africa, and Canada. Canada? Oh, wait, Lithuania's in the... Is it in its own faction? No, that's part of the Midamors. Midzimors. Cool, I will liberate the Irish soon enough. <clears throat> Canada. First parachute battalion. Did you go with... How are they going? Oh, they're going with strengthened ties to the Commonwealth. Maybe they will stay with us this entire time. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That would be great. Oh, Miles Dempsey, yeah, you definitely... Oh, we want infantry expert. He did such a great job last time. Uh, let's see, Netherlands. Has anyone guaranteed your independence? No. How are the Netherlands going? They abandoned the gold standard. They could protect against us or the Germans. They haven't figured that one out yet. They went with cave to the Brit... Wait, so that's how we got political power or something? We They caved to the British? I didn't know that. Huh. United or unity through democracy. I love democracy, especially when it works in our favor. Hmm. Hmm. Lead the minor democracies or go with Britain. I hope they go with Britain. I really do. I think that would be the best choice for everyone here. And I definitely am totally trying to get more naval XP or something here. Uh, you guys are pretty good already. Who needs training? You guys need training. Go ahead and train. Keep grinding some more naval XP. Okay. Ah, no. No, you were the chosen one. Canada, no. Canada, why? Why must you hurt me like this? Well, that, this was a failed experiment. I didn't think it would work anyways. But regardless, come back home, boys. And eventually you'll be sent to... <clears throat> the Netherlands to help... Pacify the area. Yeah, we'll say pacify. There you go. That's good enough. Can declares independence. So be it. Okay, German Reich declared war on Greece. Um, Greece. You're guaranteed by Romania, who's allied with the French. Oh. Now that's interesting. Because they can probably defend here pretty well, since it is a mountains and hills, it looks like. Plains, okay. Mountains, mountains. But over on this border might be a little more difficult. Greece joined the French Entente Alliance. Now that's an interesting. Now the Axis is fighting on three different fronts. Especially since they're not invading Belgium or Luxembourg. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. God, we need so many repairs needed. Uh, destroy a hole. Yeah, you're just trying to repair this. So that's very interesting. Building some more stuff up. We definitely need better radar. Oh, we already had some radar up here. That's good. We will need some more oil. Uh, let's see what happens. I I would be very interested to see how Romania and Greece hold up. It looks like the Greeks have lost a little bit of territories. But the Romanians are on the mixed bag. They're a mixed bag. Trade union war, propaganda support. We're at 68%. That's pretty darn good. Uh, war economy already. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, war propaganda against the German Reich. That's pretty good. Oh, if we can continue building, I I have to continue building. Like, that's like non-negotiable for me. We need more military factors. We need more of everything. And I really need to start focusing on tanks. Since it just became 1939. And we will need some allies. So, I'll put it like this. When we make sure that the Netherlands is truly um, under our 
communist egalitarian rule, we will begin to start liberating portions of the former Irish state to make sure that they they know their place. Now, I will liberate them as a puppet, but it is my ultimate goal to make sure that the Irish are voluntarily part of our faction. I want them to be communist, egalitarian, but I don't want them to be forced to join us once I fully liberate them. And that, that'll take some time. That'll take some years before Ireland can truly become independent. Just because it takes time to convert people's minds, their education, their, their hearts, and to really realize that our methods are truly the best. So I'll, it'll be a slow liberation compared to all this decolonization because they already have a lot of things set up here, a lot of resistance to colonialization that happened before. But in the Irish, in Ireland, you know, Ireland, Irish, Ireland, it just it's just going to take some time. And I need factories, god dang, I need factories and as much resources as I can get. British Malaya, you are disgusting. Oh my god, you're communist. What happened? You're my puppet and you're communist. God, how could this get any better? Of all the places, all of our former colonies that become communist, the one that's the most resource rich became ours. Yes. Yes, that's so good. Uh, I didn't, I only did the, ex, you know, ex, you know, extort or influence them with communist means just once. God, that's good. God, we are great people, aren't we? We are truly great. Because of our methods and showing the world what communism really means, they decided to follow us. And it's not because they're our puppet, but they wanted to do this. They chose it upon themselves to become communists and to follow us. I gotta love it, right? Gotta love it. Alright, anyways. Um, that looks pretty good. We're still building stuff here. Got another dockyard. That's awesome. Because we could really use more dockyards to another destroyer hole. Uh, oil is doing pretty well, or at least fuel is. Let's see, can we train anyone else? Since we didn't really get into any sort of major naval battles last time. Uh, yes, you guys are up next. Battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers, and 13 destroyers. Also, if you didn't know yesterday, Paradox announced basically... Uh, okay, the German Reich declared war on Luxembourg as they're quickly taking out Romania. Paradox did announce kind of a roadmap for the next year or so. Or maybe... Oh, God. Uh, let's talk about this first. So, is there a greater lie than the supposed liberty of the Dutch people? Were they once slaved under the princes and dukes who claimed ownership of the soil, they are now forced to sell their labor to those who claim ownership of the factories. Their freedom to choose one master over the other can hardly be called liberty. Likewise, their freedom to elect their leaders is a false choice, as propaganda would never allow the true socialists to take power. A people so thoroughly indoctrinated can only be saved by a British intervention. Harry Pollitt has polemicized against the government in the Netherlands for a long time in party meetings, but this rhetoric is now used more frequently in public. There's little to reason to believe that this conflict could be resolved peacefully. Uh, regardless, so, paradox. They basically announced two kind of roadmaps, or one, one big roadmap. So the next update, 1.7, will be focused on improvements, general improvements for the entire game. Which means they're going to probably hopefully fix the frontline AI system. They'll make things maybe work more smoothly. Maybe maybe rework some of the focus trees within the game themselves. Potentially. Things like that. Just more improvements over content for 1.7. But 1.8, the update that is being worked on at the same time as 1.7, is called Operation Husky. Um, it also has another name of 5... 5... Uh, was it? 5-year plan? Which... Of course, was a plan by the Soviet Union, so the 1.8 DLC will probably be a Soviet Union rework, as well as probably, most likely, espionage and stuff like that. And maybe countries that are directly related to the Soviet Union, like Finland and Republic in Spain. With that in mind, let's continue going on, since we just eliminated the upper class. Go figure. But before we do that, though, uh, let's see. Fighters. Heavy fighters. Not bad, not bad. Oh, god dang it. I need more tanks. Uh, let's really ramp up our tank production here. Alright, so with that in mind, now that we have secured the place of communism in the nation, we can begin to look out towards redistributing the wealth held by its citizens. The upper classes must have their spoons, their silver spoons, forcibly removed. So we lose a lot of generals and admirals and a field marshal. Wow, 
But we, holy crap, we get eight factories, four civilian and four military. Uh, these guys are probably removed. Let's go ahead and choose, oh, nice, three more naval dockyards, that's awesome. Oh, what's this? Special air service. Ooh, very cool. Air rearmament, chiefs of staff committee. Awesome. Ooh, very awesome. Let's see. Really, I need to do expunge the royal family. But a lot of the stuff can wait at the moment. Just because I, I don't want this civil war to spawn because of how long it's taking us to decolonize. So we have to do this next. We have to get political power, manpower, and release pretty much all of Africa, which will lag the game to living hell. But that's okay. Let's see. Right now, we could use a little bit more aluminum and rubber. Uh, is there anything here? Where is... Oh, we could get more tungsten that we don't really need. Expected decolonization is in less than 700 days. Not bad. Trade union weekly war support. We already have enough war support as it is at the moment. Uh, factory output, military factory would be great. Anything here? Not really. Okay, so. Political advisor. Communist Terry Pollitt. Uh, ooh, military factory speed. We should... We are slowly becoming more and more of a war machine to help spread our love of communism by force. And by, you know, showing off how good we are. But we really probably should choose something here that will really benefit us. Uh, this stuff is just so generic, like I said last time. That's actually plus 15% is not bad. Uh, aircraft designer. What do we need? Well, we're trying to invade the Netherlands next. And we obviously need more ships. That's not very good. Uh, let's see. Harlan and Wolf is okay. Oh, this is part of the 1.6.2 update. Carriers now get plus 10% HP using the Camel Laird Aircraft Atlantic Fleet Designer. This one gives you a little bit more HP for carriers, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I'll probably do this just because you get less armor, but everyone pretty much benefits to their range. Eh, that's okay. It's not actually not that great. I'll, actually, I'll probably do this. I like capital ships and carriers. But is this the best we can choose? Right now, I need tanks. And this will give us plus 15% armor research speed, which is really good. So let's do that next. And then... Anything else? Any upgrades? We're still waiting for this carrier to be finished. And let's see. Oh, we, god dang it. There's so many buttons you have to click to get to here. Carrier hull. Mark 1s. Since we can do radar. Awesome. Do that. Oh, that's this. We can't really do anything. Oh, Harold Alexander because its prerequisites are no longer... Harold Alexander? Who is Harold Alexander? Harry Pollitt. Uh... Wait. Harold Alexander. Was he a person who built stuff or something? I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm stupid, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, well, I guess his loss... I guess it's our loss, but you know, whatever. We still have King the George the Sixth version. Uh, I don't want to get rid of him because plus 15% stability is no laughing matter. That's actually very, very good. That's a huge chunk of... Uh, stability that helps us get more political power and resources and whatnot. So let's see. We have quite a few days for next land doctrine. Field hospitals will be done soon, which we will immediately research tanks, expand the Krakow Krakow oil fields, refineries, and we're halfway to getting ready to invade the, the Netherlands. Uh, get rid of that, and we'll put you over here. And let's go ahead and prepare our soldiers. You two. Now, the Netherlands does have quite a navy. It's not as big as ours, obviously. Not as powerful as ours, but it is not a navy that you can just shrug off. It will require some serious resources to uh, deal with. Which we should really stock up on more fuel. So, if we're invading the Netherlands, I'm going to make sure that we invade all the good areas. Let's see, this is 7 and 8. Come from here. Hog. Over there. If we could take if we could capitulate Amsterdam first, would that capitulate the entire country? I doubt it. Uh yeah, just do that. Yeah, that'll be good. And like last time, we'll make sure that all three of you actually let's pause it real quick. You guys come over here. And I want you to just kind of Something like that. Just so that they're over here ready to go and reinforce the line when needed. 
Alright, 1939, let's get some tanks going. We need Crusader medium tanks. God, that's awesome. Crusader tanks. Crusading into battle. Oh, what a totally communist thing to do. Crusading. Let's see, us. Oh, we are building up infrastructure in Ireland. Well, I guess that couldn't be the worst thing you could do. But we could do better stuff than that. Actually, build, get that raider up there. That raider actually will prove very useful when looking for Dutch ships. And we have a pretty good amount of oil, but go ahead and train someone else. Actually, how long would this take? 39 days isn't bad, but we already have enough ships that need to be repaired as it is. Uh, go ahead and train as well. As the world is trying to kill it, kill everyone else, I'm just trying to enjoy my time here. So France has not fallen yet, neither has Luxembourg, which is great. Ooh, the stun gun. Awesome. Oh, wait, we have industry stuff we have to do. Uh, construction speed. So that's actually not too bad. The Greeks are holding on pretty well against the Germans and the Croatians. They've only advanced that. Ah, oh, yes. Pakistan has declared war on India. So good. Thank you, Muslims, for rising up. Muslims, rise up. Yes. Please don't do that right now, though, in my game. Oh, Croatia, you're looking kind of thick there. Ah, oh, yes. Pakistan. Good. The religious conflicts between the Muslims as well as the... I think it's Hindus and Buddhists. Maybe just Hindus. Let's see. Pakistan. Well... You don't really like us, but we don't really like you either. That's a lot of manpower. Holy crap, that's a lot of manpower. And that's a lot of divisions. India has about the same amount. Marginalized Muslim community while well, they're getting more daily autonomy gain. They have way less manpower. Uh, but they're no longer my puppet, so that's pretty much negligible. It's only hurting them. Indian, da -da -da, princely states kind of uh, helps them. Pakistan, I mean, you got a lot of stuff. You have no factories, basically, but... Okay, so you signed a white piece. All right, then. Something tells me this white piece isn't going to stay a white piece forever. And actually, if I was India, I would have tried to take Pakistan out, probably. Just because, look at how many divisions they have now compared to what they did earlier. Sure, they had more divisions, but ultimately, you could probably beat them if you knew what you were doing. But then again, this is the AI. It's not perfect. It's still Paradox AI, but that's really interesting. I wonder if this is going to become Bangladesh eventually. That would be very cool. Oh, no, more military factories. Awesome. Oh, that's... Uh, we don't really need a bunch of that. Oh, yeah, change that. Uh, yeah, make sure we're producing a ton of tanks. And I will switch this over to medium tanks as soon as I can. Very good. Very, very good. Motorized divisions. Uh, we don't really need to focus on that too much. Tank brigades. Well, let's go ahead and throw in a little bit more motorized infantry ahead of time. Uh, we have 32 army XP engineers would be great. Maintenance companies would be great as well. Probably don't need artillery, but I'm putting them in there for right now. That's good. That's actually pretty good. Uh, very awesome. Come on, let's get self-government for Asia, or Africa, I mean. Whatever that is. Whatever continent we're talking about now. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Soviet Union declared war in Lithuania. Um. Huh. Uh. I hope, as much as I love people who claim that they're communist, I don't want to see Stalin get too powerful. Uh. I hope they hold out. I'm not sending any volunteers. I don't want to fight against Stalin. But that being said, oh my god, Poland, you are Lithuania just got gobbled, gobbled, gobbled. Something's gonna I think something's telling me here that we are really gonna have to make sure that we prepare ourselves for a future conflict with the <clears throat> Soviet Union or Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Oh my goodness. Because right now, I won't have the manpower ever to take out the Soviet Union. Oh, look at that. That's so bad. Oh, but it looks like, well, the Polish are mostly losing territory. They might have taken some territory, but not a bunch. Oh, there we go. Self-government for Africa. Yay, lag. And let's finish up with decolonization, which means we get plus 10% stability, more communism support, more political power, more manpower. <clears throat> and whatever people I have under me, leave the Allies for the most part, and Commonwealth research. And... I even leave the Commonwealth Research thing. It is an end of an era, but an end of our choosing. Rather than suffering the indignity of struggling in vain against unstoppable rise of independence movements, we have held our heads high and, with pride, have guided those under our protection as far as we could. Now all that remains is to cut our remaining ties and welcome our erstwhile dependence on the world seen as equals. Truly. Oh, that's how we got rid of the Herald guy. Yeah. Yeah, equals. Yeah, we're equals. Yeah. Oh, so we lost this guy. Darn it, that sucks. Um, 
Military theorists. Well, actually, they're exactly the same. We eliminated the upper class. We got Raymond Briggs instead. Not bad. I'm okay with that. Sure, whatever. Sure. Oh, wow, the Germans are definitely tr desperately trying to beat back the Romanians. Please weaken Germany as much as you can. And J Japan, I'm not locking you now. Even though these guys are communists and they don't, we don't share exact pure communist ideals. This... Oh, there goes Romania, but... Why you can't even get to communist China? What the heck? Did you do something in your focus for you? Prepare for war with the Soviet Union. Bangladesh declared war on Pakistan. There it is. And preemptive war. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my stars and godness. Oh, we need some more. Oh, we need a lot more stuff here. Oh, what is this? Expected decolonization es escalator clause invoked. Oh, Burma's. Oh, look at that. Burma popped out. So Bangladesh declared war on Pakistan to be liberated, as well as Burma. Look at all these countries that will need some guidance in the future. And I think I'm probably have to guide them correctly. I'll put it like that. Guide them correctly. All right, come on. Let's throw some divisions in here. Please, Poland, do your best. Oh, no. Oh, the German war machine. They took out Romania. They're killing off Greece. The French actually, they actually got over the river for a little bit, but Luxembourg is no more. Oh, God. What it's probably going to look like is that... Oh, God. They're, oh, no, 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 no. Lithuania's gone. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. That'll be concentration. What it looks like... The Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Oh, my gosh. So, it's going to be two juggernaut battles. It's going to be probably the German Reich and her allies versus the Soviet Union and her allies. Oh, that's so not going to be good. And then there's just going to be me, who's taking out countries slowly by slowly bit. Who is going to try to be a, another superpower faction. Not a superpower in its right, but with its allies, we can become a mighty, mighty faction. Oh, and Japan declared war on China. Isn't that pretty much expected nowadays? Just hold out, Poland. Just take out as many Soviet men as you possibly can. Because the Soviet Union, just, my God, there's so many boys. As much as I love communists, they're just misguided communists. German Reich. Come on, France, hold... Oh, that's not good, France. That's not good. Italy, what are you doing? You're so quiet. Are you trying to form your own faction or something? You're probably going to go with Italy first. Uh, oh, nice. We can build up some more things for ourselves. We have better radar overall. This this might help us as well. I need I need more oil refiners, to be honest with you. I'm put that lower. That's good. And we will need some more dockyards as well. And then I will throw them on the Coast Guard area. So with that in mind, there's really not much else for us to do this episode. Uh, oh, wait. But one thing we can do, though. To grind a little bit more XP, can we give somebody an attache? No, they will not accept. This is the last thing we'll do. Oh, I don't want to send it to the Soviets. No, they won't even accept us. Poland? Invite a faction? No, send attache. God dang it, everyone. Uh, how about the French? Will the French like us? Oh, they kind of like us. God dang it, why does no one like us? I want to send an attache. <laughs> Germany... <laughs> Well, you accept it? No. No one no one likes me, man. No one likes us. No, they won't teach them our peaceful ways by force then someday. But regardless, we will end the episode here. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we will begin an invasion of the Netherlands to make sure that everyone in the world knows that you do not mess with the Union of Britain. And communism is the... Our version of communism is the best for the world. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.